used to say that I'm not already gone. This Loud Morning is actually, uh, uh, it's in one of the song lyrics in a song called Rapid Eye Movement. Um, the, the lyric is, give me one more quiet night before this loud morning gets it right and does me in. And um, uh, I wrote that song kind of early in the process of this album. And it was, um, I think after after getting off, getting off tour from the first record and, you know, I was so kind of driven to to you know play every show and, and play as much as possible for as many people as possible and so when when life happened you know like the, the amazing things like traveling to manila and you know going to canada and, and doing all these amazing things that i don't know that i would have gotten to do otherwise um, so those those amazing highs and then you kind of mix that with like you know my brother passing away in may of 09 and um to, you know i really took all those experiences and shelved them for a while you know just i didn't process them i didn't deal with them um and so as a result getting off the road and all of a sudden it's just like all this noise and like that and um so as we went through the writing process i think all those things that i'd shelved kind of came up and uh and, and and so for a little while uh there were mornings when i was just like okay uh, it's it's already getting pretty loud and all i want to do is just kind of pull the blanket over my head and go back to sleep and try again tomorrow and um, and that's really where the sentiment comes from. But I think, uh, you know, I love, I love kind of the the way the title plays. You know, I, I think everybody's had those days when they just don't want to get out of bed. But uh, you know, there's also that kind of romantic idea of the morning being, you know, you start anew. It's a fresh start. And um, I, I love, I don't know, I love the way that plays together. You you brought up your brother. It's been almost two two years since his passing. Sure. And you kind of talked about how you were able to shelf some of those feelings. Are there any songs on here that are specifically about um, his passing or your relationship? Um, I no, I don't think there's any songs on this record that deal directly with Adam. I think Adam um, is kind of is permeated throughout this entire record, and, and I think it's just in. Yeah, the the record from start to finish uh, with the first track circadian that is essentially meant to represent um, you know falling asleep and and then the middle of the record um, is really just kind of a I, I love this this uh, very literary romantic idea of like you can create this entire life for yourself in that seven eight hours of sleep that you get a night and um, and so I really kind of made a play on the uh, the gestation period of a, of a relationship from start to finish. And then at the end of the record, some rapid eye movements about waking up and not wanting to deal with that actual reality. Um, uh, and so I think in a sense, the whole record is kind of about Adam, but really just about everything. You know, just kind of using sleep as a, as a reprieve from, um, I guess, daily pressures. You dealt with what seems to be an unimaginable circumstance with such grace and and you had to do it publicly mm. and then clearly you've turned that into you do so much for uh, cancer research absolutely is that the best way you feel like his legacy can live on for you to try to turn it into something that helps other people absolutely I think um, you know I, I I didn't especially going through idol I didn't get to see you know everything that my brother went through and um, and even what I saw was 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 tough to stomach and, and tough to deal with, and so, um, you know, to to be I guess an advocate um, for uh, for advancement and hopefully you know eventually to find a cure. I mean that's something I, I feel um, you know definitely Adam would want me to do. Mm -hmm.